Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam and I am coming actually just to check on you guys. I just want to see how you're doing. Guys, this is oh, a hot mess. It's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. I just really wanted to come on and just check on you guys. Um, I haven't posted because honestly, I haven't felt well. It has not nothing to do with, you know, the thing that's going around. Um, my blood pressure has been running up and down high and I'm having side effects to the blood pressure medicine and my glucose has been running a little bit high. So... I've been trying to kind of um, get that together and so I hadn't posted so I just wanted to just jump on I want you guys to do a couple of little roll calls for me down in the comments let me know how you're doing how you're holding up um, hopefully we don't have any job losses or anything like that but if by chance you have been hit um, with a job loss or something else that has impacted your um, livelihood, please leave it down below so me and anyone else who wants to pray for you that we can. Um, right now, I am, as far as work-wise, I'm fine. Um, I have enough sick leave. I have enough vacation time that if they tell us um you know because i work in daycares and i go to different daycares and so i do not um want to go there they did pull us out of um out of the field um they're doing it on a week by week basis but with the new social distancing you know it's probably going to be a, a while so let me tell you what's going on in my neck of the woods. Um, as I said, we are on a complete lockdown, um, except for, you know, essentials, going to the bank, going to the grocery store. I think you can go to home improvement stores and you can go to pet stores, but that's just about it. And I had to leave out of here today because, um... A lot of the businesses were closing. I didn't know who was closing, what time they were closing. So I was just like, let me go and get what I need to get and get on back home. Well, Bree needed to go to the bank. Um, the banks were completely closed in our county. So, of course, only the ATM um, was available. And, of course, we're sanitizing every time we touch something. Because, you know, you don't want it, you know, you feel for people that get it and you know but you you have to be do your due diligence to to try to keep it away we're already out there i literally have not i don't know the last time i even filled up my my truck i think my girls have been using it more than i have because you know the baby needed diapers or whatever so um one of the things that I told Kiana today, I said, hey, I know you got a case of diapers. I had told her that to make sure a case of diapers, case of wipes when she got her check. But, you know, let's get another case just in case because we don't know what this is going to look like. So, in my neck of the woods, I am in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Um, I am in one of the suburbs and they have, as I said, um did a stay at home so except for the essentials um so today i had to go get my medicine we went to the bank made her deposit and then we went to sam's club now it was a little breezy today <laughs> so i was like oh, okay i'm gonna just throw on my shoes didn't put any socks on had some jogging pants on had a short sleeve shirt on but i did put on a jacket and had my trusty dusty little hat on right so i figured in my head 
that the lines would be a little bit long. So I had gotten myself prepared for that. And yeah, I thought the lines were going to be long, but I thought the lines were going to be long inside of Sam's. No, 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 no. We were left in the parking lot, six feet apart. Um, everybody was conscious of that and very respectful of each other where there was a distance, but we were left outside for about 45 minutes to an hour waiting to get in. They were doing their social distancing due diligence. So 10 people came out, 10 people went in, and that's exactly what we were doing the entire time. So, um, I told you guys on one of my other videos, probably not the best time to try to do everything um, where it's completely fresh. If you know you're going to eat it, then that's fine. But I was buying things in bulk and I was looking for freezer and canned stuff because I know that it will last longer. Not saying that it's the best thing at this point, but it's the best thing for this point <laughs> because we don't know what this looks like. You know, it's going through the end of April. Today's April 1st. So it's going to be a while, guys. It's going to be a while. Um, some of the, you know, uh, celebrities are getting it. And, you know, I just feel for everybody at this point. Um, let's see what else is going on. My house is always hectic. If y'all hear the baby in the back, he's in the living room with his, his aunties and his mommy. Um, work, like I said, we're out of the field, but we are doing conference calls and WebExes and all of that other stuff to try to accommodate our providers. Um, but, you know, I don't know how long that's going to last. So I am glad that I made the decision to put more in my emergency fund than a thousand. I know some people don't agree with that. And in all honesty, that's exactly where that stimulus check is going in my emergency fund until all of this blows over. As soon as it's done, you know, I'm sending it directly to my, um, I don't for my car, for my truck, whatever I got. Um, trying to think of what else. Um, Kiana's boyfriend, Dre's dad, I think I told you guys, and if I didn't, let me just give you a brief overview. He, um, also has bipolar disorder and, um, unfortunately, instead of them doing a, what's called a 1013, which is a disturbance with someone that has a mental disorder, they just did a call and he ended up having to serve a year in jail regular county jail but jail nonetheless and so he has never ever met his son in person so friday is going to be very very emotional for all of us because i love him he's like my son um for a long period of time i had to kind of help out with him um, and he trusts me and, um, actually most of the time I get along better with him than I do Kiana because I'm the caregiver for Kiana and she's the caregiver for him. And so, but anyway, he's getting out. We're excited. He's going to meet Dre for the first time in person. Of course he's seen him, but he hasn't like literally held him. He went in about, about three weeks before Dre was was born so and he was so forward looking you know wanting to be a dad and so um so good times um let's see i don't know what else guys i'm just glad to be here on these kids i promise you they're gonna come in here <laughs> um i'm just glad that i'm healthy my family is healthy i'm praying for everybody else that may not um, have that luxury right now. Um, what I can tell you is my food bill 
Lord, thank you that I haven't gone to get gas because I'm going to leave my gas money to do this grocery bill. Oh, my God. So I went to Sam's. I spent $206 there. Then, because you don't want to buy, it's certain things I just don't want to book. Like, I don't necessarily need 17 uh, Pam sprays. You know what I'm saying? So, I went on to um, Kroger, and I was trying to get in and get out. So, I went on to Kroger, and then that was another $100. And then I had a Walmart pickup that was scheduled between five and six today. And that was $57. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so 300 almost $360, $370. But by the grace of God, thank you, I had it. Um, but with two, three grown folks, uh, um, you know, a teenager, and a baby who probably eats more than all of us. Because if he sees it on our, our plate, he wants it. So I was trying to do what I instructed you all to do. I would rather buy in bulk. I would rather buy multiple to stop me from having to go out of the house. So as far as I'm concerned, unless there's an emergency, it's a wrap. Whatever we didn't get today, we're not getting ready to have it. We got bread. We got butter. Lord knows as long as I got chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I got two bags of chicken uh, the other day because you know I only eat flats and so um, there was two bags left and mama picked up both of those bags <laughs> um, we've got fish we got shrimp we've got um, what else do we have ground turkey we got spaghetti sauce we got hamburger helper We've got um, salad. We've got, you know, all kinds of things. So, um, I feel blessed that I was able to make sure that we had the food. We got food in the deep freezer. We got food in the regular freezer. We got food in the refrigerator. And by the grace of God, thank you. Um, some of the things that I do know that have happened that I want to kind of share with you all. The stimulus checks, y'all don't look for them before May. If they come before that, it's just, you know, Christmas. Just, you know, chalk it up to that. But I don't think they're going to come out before the first week of May. But, you know, they could surprise us. They're really trying. And, you know, I have to give credit where credit is due. The other thing is um, be mindful of your, um, if, if you have lost your job, um, be mindful that there are things in place to be able to help you. They're giving an extra $600 over what you are receiving from your state as far as unemployment. Now, let me tell you what happened. Kiana works at, well, both of the twins work at McDonald's. Um, Key is a crew member. Bree is in management. Key also works at um, O'Charlie's. So O'Charlie's, with a lot of the restaurants that you can go and sit down at, they are only doing to-go and delivery. So with that said, they don't need the servers. So they immediately went on, filed for her unemployment, and she got her, didn't get the check yet, but they did get her, um, she got her benefit sheet. So, and it lasted for one year. So that's a blessing, unless something changes, but they went on and um, did it for a year. Now, from my understanding, if you have a reduction of um, hours, um, I believe it's under 30, though. I think Brie went from, like, well, Brie works a lot of overtime, but I think she was down to, like, 35, and I don't think that she qualified for it. But just know... Um, because, like, when McDonald's start closing at 9 o'clock, you know, at 9 o'clock p.m., you know that we are in a crisis. The only other thing that would scare me even more is if Waffle House, closed, <laughs> Waffle House closes. <laughs> and then at that point, we know Jesus is returning. Because they don't never close. Christmas, nothing else. So we, you know, we we got to be mindful. We have got to be mindful, y'all. People are dying. 
the numbers keep rising, but it's because we're not staying in the house. I was guilty. I felt guilty even trying to go get food. But we had food, but I wanted to have enough food in here so I don't have to go back out of here. Now, I took off next week because normally I would have taken off for spring break anyway. We're not going anywhere, but I needed a mental break. It's so much moving parts with work and, you know, we're having to do things differently. And I, I it, it was just too much with home life and, and, and work life. And there's absolutely no balance in my life. And so I just needed to kind of regroup for Pam. So I went on and took off next week. Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you, if you by chance receive food stamps, know that they are looking to and may have already done um, adding additional benefits to your card. So know that that um, check your balance, um, check and see if you've got additional than what you are normal normally um, thinking that you are supposed to have. So just, you know, be mindful of those things. Call your creditors, guys. Call your creditors. I have not utilized this, one, because I'm on a mission right now to, to pay my car off. However, that doesn't mean that if you are in need, do not have such a big ego where you do not call and ask for help. I always say ego is edging God out. That is when you get beside yourself and you don't want to ask for help. And I am, <laughs> hello, it's me. I know I don't necessarily like to ask for help because, you know, I'm so used to doing things on my own. However, um, I don't need it right now, but I'm glad that it's there if I do. I paid all my bills on yesterday and today. Um, because, you know, I only get paid once a month. So everything was paid except for, like, my car insurance. They know that it's supposed to be drafted on the 1st, but then they give you that little couple of days of um, grace period. So that should be out probably no later than Friday or so. My life insurance, I couldn't change the date to the 1st until after this month. So that's coming out. Um, what else comes out? My sinking funds money that hasn't been, um, it's been sent over to Capital One 360, but it hasn't, they haven't posted it yet. I think that's it, honestly. So other than that, all of my bills, by the grace of God, y'all gonna hear me say that because I don't take that lightly. I promise you I do not. I went to, um, I'm on the board for my HOA and I was like, guys, you know, we need to offer a grace period because people are in desperate need. Um, one other board member and myself agreed that we should push it out at least until July. Another board member did not. And I, I honestly, let's just be honest. I have a problem when people don't remember just because it's not happening to you does not mean it's not happening. I got my check deposited yesterday, but the right thing to do it is to be there for other people in their time of need because I can guarantee you you're going to be on that side of the fence sooner or later and you are only praying that somebody shows you some grace and mercy. So it was a majority rule. It was two against one and I, let's send it out. Because <laughs> I, I don't have time, you know. I'm sorry that you don't take into consideration anybody else's feelings. That's on you. And sorry if you're watching, but yes, I'm talking about you. Um, I just, I, 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 don't, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to be that person. I, I only want the best for people. And I have overspoken sometimes um, and not known yes. asked a question that was maybe inappropriate and found my foot in my mouth because the person was not doing something because they couldn't afford to do it and i'm like oh you know so i'm very very mindful of that right now we've got 
I mean, I live in habitat. So the bottom line is, that's the part that blows my mind. Hell, none of us had any money. <laughs> and that's how we got in the habitat. So I don't understand why this person is being so hard ass with this. But anyway, honey, we just bypassed her right on and kept it moving. So I hope that, you know, maybe after seeing how it will help people, maybe she will have a more um, compassionate way of thinking. And all I can do is pray for and keep it moving. Um, I'm trying to think of what else, guys. I, I, I miss you guys. I, I always miss you guys. Um, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I, I Honestly, I just wanted to jump on here. And pray that every one of you all are healthy. Pray that every one of you all's financial um, status has not changed. But also just give you these little tidbits in case they did. So if you have not subscribed, what are you going to do? What are you going to Come on. Come on. Come on and be one of my butterflies. <laughs> come on. Join the butterfly family. Um, make sure that you like the video. Make sure you share the video. Maybe some information that you can share with somebody else. Um, I would love to have them also. And until next time, butterflies. Love you.